Well, I'm sure you all remember this ginormous light bulb. Um, I was only able to get about half power out of it, and really, that was a bit silly. Um, so, we're getting rid of this, and we're going to have a nice rectifier there. Nice big Mercury Arc rectifier. Um, and this light bulb is going to go to somebody who I know will appreciate it. Yeah, 20,000 watts at 115. Quite a lot. Guess who's just pulled up? Very good afternoon. Yes. There is another genius in another part of the world. Today we meet. Yeah. We're going to have some fun with that. That is going there. There's the bracket for it. Let's get it unpacked properly. Right, let's get this unpacked. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. Mm. It needs a bit of a clean. That's fine. Andy taped a magnet on here. Just to hold that uh, exciter so that it doesn't bang about in there and break it, which was a good idea. You know, I really should have thought about this. Uh, I need a knife. Let's use that one. That's all right. Covered in all sorts of bits, right? We'll get that magnet off last. Stick that. Come on. This knife is rather blunt. There it is. That's one anode. Where's the tape for this one? There. Actually, you know what? My error, that's all right. There we go. And that. That is nice. Surprisingly, it's not actually that heavy. You'd think it'd be quite heavy with that amount of mercury in it, but it's, you know, it's reasonably light. Right, that is looking good. Let's lie that down. We've got to be careful of that. Uh, you see, it? we've got to be careful of that. We don't want to break that. So, very carefully, we'll lay that down. Uh, whoops, I might just stick under there. That might be a bit too much. Mm. That's alright. Right, that took quite a lot longer than I was hoping it would, but we got it unpacked. Now, we're going to power this thing up. All that mercury in there. Hmm, we wouldn't really want to spill that on the bed. That was silly. A little exciter moving about. various bits that's for the exciter circuit as in all them resistors as is that that's the little coil that would go on there pull that little magnetic thing in and some aqua dag which is what this stuff is so if this starts flaking off then we can repaint that oh look good and oh yeah a tub just in case the bottom comes off when it's up there obviously we don't really want that going in everything so 
hopefully that will contain as much of it as we can. But yeah. Oh, and the bracket, of course, to mount it. Let's get on with it. Right, the bracket's up. Now, we've got to flip that over and get that mercury in the bottom without the bottom falling off. So we've got to take it very slowly. Right, I've got a tub on the floor and I've got this. So if the bottom does come out with any luck, the mercury will go in there or be contained. Because the mercury is quite heavy and it can actually knock the bottom out um, if you're not careful. So I'm going to just very, very slowly and do it over this. Here, I'm going to just get all of that. Oops, not that. Right. Very carefully. Get that in the lock. Right. You've got to take it in slow motion, literally. Oh, oh dear. bottom has not fallen out. That's good. Now I've got to try and get it up on that stand. Let's see what happens. This isn't as heavy as you'd think though, so that's always good. Right, take it very slowly. I do not want to break this. That goes in there. This is actually slightly too small to fit it in, which is quite irritating. So let's get that out and try again. I'm going to have to take some of that stuff off there. Right, I've removed some of the electrical tape on that. Let's see how that's going to sit up there. I've also put the little uh, tub underneath it, so if the bottom does come out, oh, that's a bit better. I've got a tub there. Oh, that looks lovely, don't it? Yeah. And then, I just want to reach up here. Oh, I'm going to have to stand up on the ladder a bit more. Mm. looks lovely. Now, let's power it up, of course. Be rude not to. It's not quite perfectly in that little ring, but it's enough, it'll be all right. Now we've got to wire it up and get it running. Hmm, that looks nice. Using that, oh dear. What happened? Did the ballast finally pop? I think the ballast might have finally popped. Mm. Oh, fucking hell, that's really hot. Yeah, I think the ballast gave up. Let's try and strike it again and see what happens. Come on, there it is. Let's see if that off. Yeah. No, it's gone out again. I don't know, something's not happy, but at least it works. There we go, it's running properly now. Bigger ballast. Light bulb was the load going through the ballast. How hot is this? Ah, oh, it's not even warm. That's good. This is warm. <laughs> if I go silly with this. Yeah. That sounds nice. Hmm. It's a nice noise. Take it down a little bit. 
10 amps. That's all right. Would I recommend any of you lot going out and getting one of these? Not really. Um, well, I mean, for a start, look at all that mercury in there. The whole bottom of that's full of mercury. And if that bottom comes off, that is going to be a problem. Hence why that's under it. That looks fucking awesome. Hmm. That's lovely. Switch it off. Still conducting. And off. And that lamp blowing. That's lovely. to get the pilots going. Yeah, that's quite nice. Let's see if we can see the stand on the back. Maybe, where is it? up slightly and now to start it normally there'd be an little electromagnet on the back specifically this electromagnet this is the original one that would just go on the back and you'd send a little pulse to that which would pull that dipper into it into the mercury pool but I'm just going to use this magnet it would help if you plug the exciter circuit in there it is Lovely. Turn it down just a little. Well, I could turn it up, couldn't I? I suppose. That's maxed. Hmm. The lamp's brighter than the rectifier. Turn that down to 10 amps. It's more than enough. That's lovely. It's only pulling 2 amps on the mains. lovely. Huge thanks to Andy for coming down and bringing that down in exchange for that lamp. That's much more interesting than the light bulb. <laughs> Looks even better in person. But there we go. Eventually I'll get this thing all wired up so that all I've got to do is press a couple buttons on the wall and the thing will come on and the pilots will work as well. I want the whole thing as original as I can. Obviously, it's not going to be in its original light. Massive metal cabinet, but that's nice. I love that. Cuts out at just under 40 volts, so uh, if we keep that on about 40 volts, that should be. Oh. You don't want that exciter to be on after it's struck because a little discharge is coming off of that actual exciter tip thing, so that looks nice. Yeah. 
That's one thing. Colour is a lot different than what I was expecting. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here, so thank you very much for watching. And I will see you on the next video.